Today we are going to learn how to reduce a fraction to its lowest terms. Reducing a fraction to its lowest terms means rewriting the fraction using the smallest numerator and denominator we can without changing the value of the fraction. For example, this fraction is equal to this fraction. They are equivalent. But, as we can see, this fraction uses smaller numbers. However, we can rewrite the same fraction using even smaller numbers in this way. These three fractions are equivalent. But the last one is reduced to its lowest terms. Reducing fractions to their lowest terms involves division. For example, let's reduce this fraction to its lowest terms. The first step is to find any common factor of the numerator and the denominator. A factor of a number is an exact divisor of the given number. 2 is a common factor of both 6 and 12. The second step is to divide the numerator and denominator by the common factor. On dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, we get 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. The fraction reduces to 3 sixths. The third and last step is to repeat the same procedure with the resulting fraction until there are no more common factors other than 1. So, 3 is a common factor of both 3 and 6. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. The fraction reduces to a half. 1 and 2 have no common factors except 1. So this is the final result. Let's have a look at the following figure. The first rectangle has 6 shaded parts out of 12 total parts, whereas the second rectangle has only 1 shaded part out of 2 total parts. It's to be noted that the shaded portion is the same in both rectangles. So we can conclude that 6 parts out of 12 parts are the same as 1 part out of 2 parts. Let's look at another example. Reduce this fraction to its lowest terms. First we have to find a common factor. If a number is less than 100 and is not a prime number, it probably has one of these factors. In this case 18 and 24 are less than 100. So our first attempt is the 2. Eighteen divided by two is equal to nine and 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. The fraction reduces to 9 twelfths. We repeat the procedure. We have to find a common factor. Let's try the 2 again. 2 is a factor of 12, but not a factor of 9. So let's try the 3. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. The fraction reduces to 3 fourths. 3 and 4 have no common factors except 1. So this is the final result.
What is the simplest equivalent fraction of two-fourths? That's right. The answer is a half. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 30 36 That's correct. The answer is 5 sixths. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 12 thirtieths? That's right. The answer is 2 fifths. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 20 sixtieths? That's correct. The answer is one third. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 10 twentieths? That's right. The answer is a half. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 6 twenty-fourths? That's correct. The answer is one-fourth. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 16 sixty-fourths? That's right. The answer is one-fourth. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 24 56 That's correct. The answer is three-sevenths. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 1881? That's right. The answer is two-ninths. What is the simplest equivalent fraction of 32 one-hundredths? That's correct. The answer is 8 25ths. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.